If you play Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules and you like to play in special events like tournaments where there are prizes, you can practice winning a prize. I call this Siamese Force. I have a strip for every category on the card. Since we're playing two hands at one time, we'll pick six and force hands in those categories. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's pick some categories and practice. Singles and pairs, like numbers, quints, evens, year, consecutive run. Those are the categories that we're going to force. I'm going to take 28 random tiles. We'll just say we're the dealer. All right, here we go. We have wins, dragons, cracks, dots, bams. I like to look at multiples because I think that's the strength of any given choice, multiples. For multiples, we have red dragons, four, seven, two, four, five. So let's see here. Let's see, there are two. I think maybe we could play a two, four, six, eight option and then something consecutive. Let's see what it looks like. So here's three, four, here's five, three, five. So three, four, five. Here's a three. And then down here, two, four, six, eight. Here's an eight. I like to just hold every two, four, six, eight. The only thing we're missing in this one suit option is a six dot. So if we play, let's see here what the discards look like. We've got some joker bait here. Six discards with joker bait. Two, four. Actually, there is a hand here that we could even narrow down to using all these multiples. I think we'd have to get rid of this two though. Let's see. The two, four, six, eight hand I was thinking about with the, um, the dragon second from the bottom. Two, four, six, eight, and dragons. That would use four multiples. I think that is a pretty good start. We have eight tiles to that hand, of course, using the joker. And then for this one up here, I would say we could maybe play three, four, three, four, five. So this would be three, four, three, four, five consecutive run, fourth one down under consecutive run. Now, I would not pick a hand. That would just give me kind of a direction, but I would stay flexible and hold every three, four, five. And then here, I would play two, four, six, eight. So if you would do something different here, let me know. Oh, we do have joker bait too, right here. 
so we have six discards with joker bait and I would hold these evens because we could stay flexible with some two, four, six, eight options, including a one suit option with the two, eight. So I would try to stay flexible, gather three, four, five here, and then two, four, six, eight here. So I think two, four, six, eight and consecutive run. Two, four, six, eight, and consecutive run is what I would do. So if you would do something different, let me know. You know what I was just thinking? I'm going to put this back up there real quick. I wonder if we could do two, four, four, six, eight. And then up here, play one, three, three, five dragons. You know what? That leaves way more discards. Two, four, four, six, eight. That leaves way more discards. I think we were better off the other way. So three, four, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight dragons. We might even be able to play something consecutive with three, four, five, three, four, five. I think that's what I was thinking anyway, consecutive. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. Okay, I think it's good. Two, four, six, eight, consecutive run. Right in the comment section, if you would do something different here. Let's do force two. Look at all those BAMs. Wow. Okay, so we have six, seven, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have here a year. We have no white dragons, but we do have a green and then the two seven one two seven let's just count one two three four five well let's just bring them together here let's see what we have one two seven green seven seven tiles that's not a whole lot i think i would rather wait so let's see here Green, seven. I think I would play a quint, the consecutive quint. One, two, three. We need a pair of flowers. Then we need a quint of ones. Then a pair of the middle number and then a quint of the third number, three consecutive numbers. There's the quint right there. Then over here, we need to do singles and pairs like numbers or the year. Singles and pairs, we have six, seven. I'm thinking six, seven, six, seven consecutive pair hand. Okay, so we would need flowers but this is, I think, what I would do here. So we have 10 discards. Six, seven pair hand. This would be 
the second from the bottom under singles and pairs obviously we'd need another flower and then we would need a six crack and fill in to pair up and then for the quint we would need a flower quint the one the pairs handled quint the three so i would play quints and singles in pairs if you would do something different here write it in the comment section I think I would even hold the wins because we could maybe play all sevens or all sixes with news as an option and then get rid of all these first. I think that's the way I would do it. Give yourself as many options as possible. Hold on to these for six, seven, pair hand or sixes with news or sevens with news and then down here quint one two three quint we need flowers badly though all right let's move on to force three we need to force like numbers in the year category So we have like numbers or the year and we do have twos two zero one seven two thousand seventeen I think we would need this up here I would hold the seven just in case we could use that and then I would play like numbers with fours. Just hold all those. Look at all those discards. Like numbers with fours. I think I would hold these sixes. I think that green's going to have to go away. And then we have joker bait. Okay, so year category 2017, hold the seven for options. Like numbers with fours, pretty bleak. Or like numbers with sixes, and then we have joker bait right here. So that's the way I would do this one. We got to force it. That's what it looks like sometimes. Like numbers and the year category. Oops. There we go. Like numbers with fours or sixes, and then the year category. Either way, we've got lots of joker bait. This one might be a winner, but this one, whew, that one has a long way to go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, some of these would may not have been winners, but it's really great practice. If you have a set at home, get it out and try Siamese Force. You can download the categories from my website so that you can randomly select categories to force. This is also a really great exercise to do if you're playing every hand on the card in a given year. You can force yourself to play those hands that you haven't played before so that when you play with friends, you can force yourself to play for those hands you've not played. I call that the dot challenge. It's a lot of fun. It's a way to push yourself every year. So give it a try if you haven't tried it before. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn some new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Forest for American Style Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.